I just got back from the farmer's market and this is my haul. By the way, I am filming this vlog on the Canon EOS R10. Thank you so much Canon for sponsoring this video. Okay, back to the haul. I got purple green beans, Brussels sprouts, and then for herbs, I got parsley, cilantro, and sage. And then I got sun gold tomatoes. For leafy greens, I got some baby lettuce heads and this big bunch of dino kale. And then radicchio, which I wanna make tuna salad cups out of. And then I got early girl tomatoes, some pears, some potatoes, yellow potatoes, delicata squash, and then I got this red kabocha squash, these huge yellow onions, and then some shallots, some strawberry jam, and some big containers of kimchi. Yay! Makes me so happy, my farmer's market hauls. After I like bring home all the stuff, I usually take about an hour or so to prep everything. And by prep, I just basically mean like wash and put it in Tupperware. And then I stick it in my fridge. And I do this every time that I'm home and I'm able to go to the farmer's market. So that's what I'm gonna do now. This is what the fridge looks like. There's some stuff in here that Matt was eating while I was gone. I just got back from traveling, so he was making himself some pasta and whatnot from the grocery store. But like, this is what I just prepped, these Tupperware containers and the two big ones in the back. I just love getting like the washing done out of the way on a Sunday right when I get home from the farmer's market. And that way it just cuts down on cooking time a lot throughout the week. And if I know what I'm gonna be making, which isn't always the case, I'll even try to like chop the vegetable in the shape that I want to eat it throughout the rest of the week because I just prefer to do it all at once. I've got my herbs up here. These are some eggs that we need to finish. And then the new eggs that I got, I stuck in the back. This is lettuce along with these two containers here. I've got my Brussels sprouts, my green beans, and then over here I have the kimchi. And I am actually going to make kimchi stew tonight with the kimchi. It's gonna be really good. I'm using a different camera to show you the Canon EOS R10 that I've been using to film this vlog. Just to show you guys what it looks like, I put on the RF 15 to 30 millimeter lens, and then I also have this microphone. And all of these pieces will be linked in the description box. You can interchange the lenses. So if you want a wider angle lens, you can get one, or if you wanna do more close-up shots, you can get one. This camera is perfect for filming vlogs because it has a flip out screen and you can twist it so that if the camera is facing you then you can see yourself this camera does shoot in 4k and it has really good autofocus and it's so easy I always just put it to this little video icon and I just leave everything on auto if you're into kind of fine-tuning your footage you can do that but I'm just like an automatic type of person I just like to be like a couple buttons away from getting a video up another thing I love about Canon's is that you can connect them to the camera connect app I've been using this for all my YouTube videos in the history of my YouTube videos I'm like a Canon girl through and through I just think it's really user-friendly all their software and stuff so this is the Canon camera connect app and then you can click things like remote live video shooting you can see yourself in your phone and this is really handy for me because I shoot a lot of content kind of far like when I'm cooking and stuff the camera might be too far for me to actually be able to see the screen on the camera so this way I can check it on my phone and just make sure like everything's in frame and stuff like that you can also transfer photos and stuff really easily to your phone with this app so I love that so I am going to relax and enjoy the rest of my Sunday Tonight, I am gonna be making kimchi stew, kind of Japanese style with me. So I've made it once before and it was so good and I'm kind of cold today and I like have been traveling so much. I just want something so comforting. So I'm gonna make that tonight. 
just set up the camera on this tripod so that I can film the kimchi stew I'm making tonight. So I just placed the camera on top here and then I have the screen flipped out so that I can see myself and turned in the other direction. And then I've got the fuzzy mic on and I'm all set up and ready to film. These are all of the ingredients that I'm going to be using for my kimchi stew. I'm going to make a broth with these bonito flakes and then I'm going to fry up the kimchi and then pour in the broth, season it with a little bit of Japanese seven spice, add the miso and the kimchi juice and then lastly I'm going to top it with tofu. Dinner is served. I love eating the stew with a wooden spoon. Like this. So good. I'm so excited. Mmm. So good. Well, that is it for today's vlog. Thank you again, Canon, for sponsoring this video. Again, all the links are going to be in the description box. If you guys want more cooking content, lifestyle content, make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I post like short form content over there. I'll see you guys later. Bye.